My name is Logan. Uh, Dylan Davenport, shipwright. I'm currently fitting in deck beams, between deck beams for Sega. There's 24 deck beams altogether. Right, these are going to separate the two levels of cargo. We're working with some huge timbers, uh, typically 8 by 8 inches, with the exception of the hatch beams or the bulkhead beams, which are 8 by 10 inches. Most of them are full size, but around the hatch openings, there's half, half beams. The carlins run fore and aft, and then there's a couple of half beams. There's two hatches in the boat, and the cargo sits through the hatch and spread out between both bulkheads. So basically these are going to hold up the tween deck, uh, which is going to be the second level of cargo. And um, yeah. My name is Ben and I'm from Canada. I am here helping and learning to shipwright and hopefully rigging one day. It takes, I think there's five of us just making deck beams at the moment. Uh, so it starts with the plan, figuring out what pieces we need, then figuring out the lengths and dimensions, or figuring out which piece of wood, because they come to us in slabs, will work for which one. Cutting them out, um, compensating for the spring in the wood, and then resurfacing one face as a reference face, laying out the exact marks, Cutting, cutting to the line and then planing, planing square to whatever angle is necessary with whatever length, adding scarfs if necessary, and Dutchman wherever there is sap or defects in the wood. Madera en reparaciones. El proceso es, digamos, sacar la parte donde que no, que no está buena, como la parte que no es corazón, o sea, madera blanca. Y ahí se busca la otra parte de buena madera, que sea bien, bien compacta la madera, de la misma madera, ¿verdad? Claro. Y se agrega, se agrega a la parte que vamos a reparar. Una máquina que tengo por allá que se llama router y se le pone, bueno, la trabajo así, el router, uso, usamos una guía con router y se le pone, bueno, la trabajo así, el router, uso, usamos una guía con router para que las líneas queden bien.
diferentes clases de maderas. Hay maderas suaves. Hay maderas muy duras. Sí. So the three the three piece scarf is or is designed for um, larger light, larger dimension or lighter height of deck beams and to space out bolt layout. So in some of the deck beam assemblies, we have up to four deck beams, one on top of each other. So to, in order to have the bolts not be in the same spots, we had, so there has some pieces that don't have any scarves, some people that has, have two piece scarves and some that have three piece, um, for just for bolt alignment. And it's still super strong. We're adding coaxes in between. So the alignment is great. Well, at the moment, I'm doing all the layout, and that's super fun um, because it's precise and just figuring out what piece goes where, what piece is going to make what. And then also, I really enjoy the fine work of doing the scarves, especially this last one. We added a key in the middle, so it's it was super tight, and I'm really proud of what I did. Uh, well, we bring along with the tractor alongside the boat as far as we can. There's a huge mango tree on the outside that just kind of limits how far forward we can go. And then we raise it up to um, a level that is, matches roughly the height of the keelson in here. And then with the block and tackle mounted on the opposite side, well, one on either side of the ship, we, um, yeah, we haul it in. Usually uh, just takes t two guys, a bit of readjusting the lines and things, but maybe three. All right, well don't worry about too much now, you're scared. You're easily frightened. It's a cute way to be. We, we pulled two of them in today um, through the frames, which is, a, that's a challenge. Um, it's a lot of work getting things in the boat now because we don't have um, a nice big opening in the back any longer. So. Um, just the size of the timbers in here, there, there's a lot of material in here. Um, and moving these big pieces around, the cords and ropes get snagged on everything. And uh, that's probably the biggest logistic challenge anyway. Um, we're lifting the deck beams into place with uh, an overhead winch and then um, a block and tackle set up on the frames on either side. So. You need a hand? And these are resting on the deck clamps 
and shelves. Basically, they're sitting on top of the shelves and notched into the clamps, which are fastened to the frames. About 10 inches wide of material to sit on, on each side. Super sturdy. Um, step one. Find the center and notch based on the width of the deck beam you're putting in, whether it's eight or 10 inches. Step two, make a template uh, for your, how do you say, lateral bevels. Step three, make a rough cut a bit longer than what it needs to be and then Step four, scribe and fine tune until we get that perfect fit. Yeah, basically we're getting they're all, them all leveled first. Uh, once we have them all dialed in, once G is finally how we like it, we're gonna go back and make sure they're all perfectly matching each other. They should be really close already, but just to get the last bits out of it. Between deck beam G, it's a super important beam. It's the first hatch opening for the tween deck. So basically it's where the cargo on the forward side is gonna start to come in. And yeah, where it has access to the lowest level. G is the first of the hatch opening starting from the forward section of the boat. It's the face of the first hatch. Uh, so it's a little bit bigger dimensions um, because it has this opening. Uh, it has to be a little stronger than the, than the ones behind it or forward of it that are simply holding up the, the cargo, the floor for the between deck. And then we're gonna bolt them in um, at least one per deck beam, starting from the four coming back. and then we have that section done. These bolts are going through the tops into the clamp.
Okay, so we're um, nearing the end of the queen deck installation. We've made a nice platform for the fairing of the upper deck. Um, so it's plenty of fairing to go. And then after that is the shear clamp and upper beam shelf and knees and everything that hangs the upper deck. And, yeah. Up next is uh, fairing and then the shelf clamp.